Hey guys, my name is Andrew Haley. I'm the product evangelist here at Telestream for ScreenFlow. And I'm excited to just give you a quick tip video here on how to use green screen in your ScreenFlow projects. So hopefully this will be useful. Uh, I have here on my screen just a project that I'm doing in ScreenFlow for another video. And you can see that I have a green screen in the back. I filmed just my onboard FaceTime camera there with me in front of a green background. <clears throat> if you don't have like a green screen, you can literally just hang up a green sheet in behind you or you could also get some green paint. Uh, there's also just portable ones that fold up that you can get. It's very easy to get your hands on this. The nice thing about a green screen is it just isolates the background, just makes it all one color and ScreenFlow can easily take the green out and put you in front of something. So that's what I'm gonna do here. You can see uh, I've got this, I'm talking about some of the product release notes for our latest version of Wirecast here. And what I wanna do is just take out the green and so I can kind of be in the bottom corner there talking about this. So I'm going to select the video layer, the video track on the ScreenFlow page. I'm gonna go over to the video tab on the, in the properties. And uh, you can see right under here at the very bottom, there's a um, option called video filters. I'm going to click the plus button to add a video filter. And right at the top there, we've actually already isolated chroma key. So if you haven't used this before, super easy, just add it. And it should pretty much take out um, the whole, the green background almost automatically. You can change the tolerance just to get rid of some of this shading here. If you see there on the right, uh, on, the, on my right side, on, on the left of the screen there, you can take out some of the tolerance. If that's if you're having trouble with that, you can even do some cropping and just crop off that part. If um, some of the shading is different on the, on you can see just in the lower part of my screen, the, the green screen, it's a little darker because the lights don't hit that section as well. So that's easy. You can then of course move yourself around to wherever you're gonna fit into the picture best. And then you scroll through, you'll see there's actually a shadow that is cast on behind me. And that's just because by default, ScreenFlow has the drop shadow um, checked. So all you need to do to turn that off is uncheck the shadow box and that'll go away. You could, of course, if you like it, you can leave it, but the only thing about it is it's not a moving shadow. It's just going to stay um, fixed at the very first part of the frame. So wherever you, your outline was at that beginning, that's where it's gonna stay. So if you're very stationary, uh, you don't move much, it can actually kind of look neat, but if you're moving around, dynamic or whatever, it's not gonna work for you. So just uncheck that shadow box. And that's pretty much it. You've now got green screen um, taken out, chroma key filter. You can resize to whatever size you like, put yourself in the lower corner and, um, and watch the magic. Nice thing about this is it puts you right in the scene that your audience is trying to watch and you can actually literally be standing right in front of the information that you're presenting. So I highly recommend getting a green screen or just a green sheet. Uh, it can really improve the production value of your ScreenFlow projects. That's all for this quick tip. Thanks so much and um, stay tuned for more.